The unfortunate rail mishap in Balasore, Odisha has brought the safety of the Indian railways to the fore. The tragic three-train accident which occurred last week claimed about 278 lives and left over 1,000 others wounded. Amidst this tragic train accident, some misleading and fake news have been doing rounds in the social media. Let us quickly analyse and fact-check these malified claims of certain media houses and opposition parties. Hello and welcome, I am Shreya and you are watching the pamphlet. One such false claim is by a leading media house, Times of India, which has claimed that 98% of India's rail tracks were laid between 1870 and 1930. However, the official spokesperson for the Ministry of Railways has refuted this claim and called the TOI article baseless and devoid of facts. He further alleged that this irresponsible journalism at such a sensitive juncture is not something that one would expect from a reputed mainstream media. Now, Correcting the false facts of TOI, about 59,315 kilometers of running tracks were laid between 1950-1951, while about a staggering 1,7832 kilometers of running tracks were laid between 2022-23. Coming next is the Congress leader Bhak Charandas, who at a press conference alleged that there has been a surge in the ticket cancellations after the tragic three-train collision in Odisha's Balasore. The Congress leader stated that thousands of people have cancelled their tickets after the accident as they feel travelling in the train is not safe. The IRCTC quickly responded to these false claims and fact-checked by terming the Bhak Charan's acquisitions as factually incorrect. Some data was also presented by IRCTC on ticket booking and cancellations after the deadly crash of June 2nd. As per the data, the train cancellations have in fact reduced from 7.7 .7 lakh on June 1st, 2020 to 7.5 lakh on June 3rd, 2023. Now, the third false claim was by the several media houses who revealed a select picture on the railway expenditure report of CAG. This fact check has already been covered by our team in our previous videos. Let us give you a little recap on the same. Some media houses have claimed that the CAG report of 2022 on derailment in Indian railways has shown a decline in the funding of track renewal. While as per the government sources, the funds have been fully utilised and the expenditure on tracks renewal has instead seen an upward trajectory from Rs 8,848 crore in 2017-18 to Rs 16,558 crore in 2021-22. All these false claims clearly show how instead of coming up with adequate safety and remedial measures, the opposition leaders have ganged up to spread fake news even on a tragedy of such gigantic magnitude. Thank you for watching. If you like the content, do like, share and subscribe to our channel, The Pamphlet.